Hello all. In this video, I will show you a issue I faced while using STM32 Cube ID on Manjaro Linux. It is related with uploading the program to the board. You can see in the image here, it is saying that could not determine the GDB version using the command and it's related with the uh, GDB version. And if you expand that, you will see like it is more related with the libben cursor. So if you search on internet, they will ask you to install uh, libben cases library from AUR and all. It doesn't work for me. I will sh show you the solution. Here actually the problem is related with the default um, ARM compiler or ARM uh, build tool used by STM32, which is actually packed inside the STM32 installation itself. So you need to install the ARM known EABA tool from the, your official repository of your current Linux distribution. Let me show you the correct solution that worked for me. So here, here you can see this This is the same issue I faced and in this forum, in this for, in this particular forum, here you can see a solution by a guy, but it is, this worked perfectly fine. And uh, even while you are doing this solution, you may face some other issue. Uh, I will show you all the issues I faced and I will show you the solutions I did. Here, the solution is made by simply going to window preferences in the stm 3 cube ID, go to the stm 3 cube section here. Inside that, you go to tool chain manager. Here, uh, by default, you will only see GNU tool for STM32 that is ST, that is the GNU tools which are installed by STM32 when once you install the STM32 cube ID. Besides that you need to create another uh, add local tool chain uh, that means uh, you need to install ARM non ABA GCC and GDB uh, tool suite on your system from your Linux uh, repo then you need to use add local then uh, specify the path for that and one more thing I like to mention during this discussion is few more issues I face. You can install the ARM non EAB, EAB GCC as per this solution so that will work fine and uh, for me I faced one more issue because after even uh, installing that using the particular command and specifying the path here you can see I am getting another error while adding the local toolchain it is called following toolchain application are missing I am non EAB GDB GDB is actually causing the trouble at the first stage itself you can see here so here also the GDAB is causing trouble. This is why because uh, you, I recommend you not to just blindly follow this uh, solution even though it's worked fine uh, because once you install ARM non EBA GCC, it only installs GCC, it will not install GDB. So here you can see like I go to the user slash bin folder and ls there for to find all ARM non EBA GCC related uh, tool chains. You can see here GDB is not present. Then you need to install GDB. Sorry, uh, yeah, you need to install GDB. Here you can see in the below line sudo pacman minus arm non EAB GDB. Once you install that uh, and select the G, select the uh, your local toolchain as default, you can select it as default by selecting it and set to default here on the right side uh, where I where, where my mouse pointer is right now. You can do that. I already uh, put that uh, local toolchain as default. That's why you can see a green arrow on the left side. Then you can apply and close. Uh, once you did that, it will not solve the problem because you will face another issue. I will explain that. The issue is related with uh, some file like uh, GNU nano specs not found. When you compile, you will get some error like this, uh, especially like this. Nano specs file not found error. If you face this issue, you need to finally in install one more pack package that is nothing but this particular package sudo pacman minus s arm non eb new lib once you install that new lib data package everything will work fine because if you doesn't install this you will be you will not be able to build your project using stm32 once you install the new lib package you can actually compile it here you can see the compilation is successful and also you can upload the code to the stm32 cube which are board you are using sorry so here you can see the download process is successful remember this three package need to be installed first one is arm uh, gcc arm non eba gcc compiler then gdb then newlib and also make sure you go to windows preference uh, stm32 cube stm32 cube toolchain manager and add a local bit folder there once you did all these three things it will work fine anyway thanks for watching i will see you in the next video with a solution to another problem